What's going on my fellow YouTubers? It's your boy Julius and today we're going to be reviewing the Galaxy Note 9 with the Pi update. Uh, right now this is currently the Verizon Note 9 so if you guys have that phone you guys can update it manually so you don't have to wait for the update to roll out. Um, for some reason mine was stuck on the Oreo so if you guys want to know how you guys can update it well here you go this is your chance so let's get to all it all right guys so what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to go to either samsung internet or google chrome and i'm going to post the link on the description so check that out but this is just the update it's over the air update it requires that your phone is on the latest Oreo firmware, which is N960U SQU1ARL1. So make sure you read that again. If you're on this, you can download the update. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna hit download. And after you're gonna wanna hit start once it's in your um, downloads, you're going to want to go to your My Files and then you're going to go to where that download was. So we're going to go to, oh there it is, SD card. So it's right here. So you have to be able to download it. It's going to go into your it's going to go in the internal when you download it and then you, from the internal you're going to want to migrate it or export to SD card. So, okay, so the other thing I forgot to mention to you guys is you have to boot into safe mode. So it's big speed, power and volume up. Hold it for a couple seconds. Okay. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to where it says apply update from SD card, and then go down to where the firmware update you just downloaded, and there you go. It's gonna take about, I'd say about 15, 20 minutes until it's fully updated. Once you boot up, you'll go through all the menu settings, initialization of the phone, also the other thing to mention, remember I told you guys this was a Verizon phone? Well after I put the SIM card in the phone, it automatically switched to the carrier boot menu. I don't know how it happened, but that's what happened to mine. So, but yeah, this is the way I got it set up for now. I really do appreciate the fact that the dark mode takes over. I like the fact that this is easier for you to handle with one hand. They've added um, the night mode already there. This is a specific theme that I downloaded through Galaxy Apps, so mine doesn't show that it's on, but it still takes on the kind of the same theme. But as you can tell, it's this one. And then you can pinch. That's it. Yeah, guys, this is how I got my setup for the Galaxy Note 9 Pi update. And the other thing I wanted to show you was when you play a song and you turn off your phone screen, you can double tap. and touch it and then it'll show the album cover. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, and by the way, guys, I do make music. 
So if you guys want to follow me, go ahead and uh, go to SoundCloud, Julius Caesar, two R's. And if you guys like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I will be coming out with more videos, more reviews on tech, on stuff I buy. So tune in and uh, don't forget to hit that little bell. Make sure when I do create a video, you guys are the first to watch. So take care my fam.